Hi guys, so for this week's video I wanted to share with you my take on a makeup tutorial for beginners. If you guys enjoy it and all find it helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, just let me know what you think and you can also put it down in the comment section below. And if you're watching this and you already know and are very experienced in makeup, I would love to hear your tips and opinions about what you experience when you started wearing makeup and yeah, I'm just gonna get into this video. So the first thing I want to talk about was age. And everybody has their own reasons for wanting to start to wear makeup. Personally, mine was because I just felt like my face needed a bit more enhancing and that is the reason I wear makeup, just to enhance the features that I've got on my face. And I started wearing makeup at the age of 16, that was when I just like started, I was in college, that's when I started religiously wearing makeup. And honestly, it was so bad, I don't even even have pictures to share with you guys, but I took it on a whole new level. I wore purple eyeshadow and like a cake of makeup, it was ridiculous. But that was my learning process, that's how I learned, I developed from there obviously, and I am better now, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I am better. For me, I feel like the age that you need to start at is whenever you feel comfortable and obviously if your parents are against it, talk to them about it, don't just go behind their backs and put makeup on without them knowing because they're gonna find out eventually. Talk to them, let them know what's going on and yeah. Alright, so the first thing you wanna start off is <laughs> Alright, so the first thing you wanna start off with is a base. And personally I think that if your skin does not need foundation like if it is clear and looks young and fresh and it's glowing you don't need foundation because foundation can actually ruin your face if you use it without it actually not needing it so if you don't need foundation I think the best thing to start off with is just a face cream and I use this E45 cream and I've recently been using this because my face got really dry during the winter periods. I know we're coming into spring right now but in England it is still so cold so I am still currently using that until it actually gets warmer outside. So as a teen, like when I started wearing makeup my face was obviously very oily so I did put on makeup thinking that it's gonna take the oil away for some strange reason but you need a primer and my favorite primer like this is the primer that I got and I, I can recommend it to literally everyone because it is so good and it is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer and I don't think this was out when I first started off wearing makeup so I never had the benefit of using this but it is so good at controlling the shine and the oil on your face and it actually lasts the whole day like I have I do sometimes go outside without wearing foundation and I just wear this just to keep my face mattified and looking Fresh. I don't know, I like that matte look. I'm not a fan of the dewy look because my face is oily anyway, so I don't need that. So if you do need foundation for your face, I have a two that I would recommend just for beginning. Like if you want to just use foundation just for an even skin tone, I really like this Stream Matte Mousse Foundation because it's quite light and it doesn't make your face feel like you're wearing something. It just feels really natural on your skin. And if you just want to do it to even out your skin tone, I think this is really good at doing that. And you can apply it with any type of cheap brush would do. You don't need to buy fancy expensive brushes if you're just starting to wear makeup. Any cheap brush would you just dab it in there and apply it around your face and it gives you a nice even finish. But if you've got like more of um, problem skin and you want something that could cover your scars or acne, I really like this Revlon Stay Matte. Revlon Color Stay Foundation and I know a lot of black people are kind of against Revlon at the moment because of what the CEO of the company said but I haven't actually been able to find any foundation that could replace this so I'm still using it I'm sorry okay and for concealer I really like this Rev um, what is it Maybelline Fit Me concealer because it is a good price and it was perfect it's perfect for my skin tone I personally think it just does really well at hiding my dark circles oh and if you have any other areas on your skin that need concealing you can just conceal those areas and uh, I like how it's in like a little brush sort of thing so you can easily target those areas that need targeting all right so something else that I feel is very important are your eyebrows now my favorite eyebrow tool is the Stream of London Brow Pencil. I've been using it ever since I started filling in my eyebrows. I never used to before because I didn't know the importance of it but now that I do I just do like a really light stroke onto my eyebrows just following their natural shape just to enhance them a bit more because it just 
defines your face and it makes you look like you really tried on your face but it's just this little one little thing one little act makes a huge difference is the problem is with eyebrows as well is it's really hard to find a technique that works for you I personally just like that natural looking eyebrow shape I absolutely love them and um, yeah so let's talk about eyeshadows it's always good to invest in an eyeshadow primer because if you don't your eyeshadow will crease and or it could just like smudge off your face and all that hard work that you've done in the morning will just be a waste and mine is just a primer that I got from Asda and it works it works wonders for the price that it was I think I only got it for like a pound and it still does the job so you don't need to spurge out on fancy eye primers now I personally don't think that if you're just starting to wear makeup you need eyeshadows I don't think this is a necessity but if you want to I really recommend just getting a neutral palette because it is so much safer like a matte neutral palette and if you make a mistake whilst you're practicing it won't be as visible as if you used one with brighter colors obviously and I really like this smoky eyes one by Bojo Palace and I don't know why it's called smoky eyes because it does not show up very smoky on my eyes maybe I'm applying it wrong anyway but basically it's just got these three lovely brown shades right so it's got this middle shade that I like to use on my whole lid and then it's got this one that I use in my crease and also the slider one that I use as a highlighter so it's got everything I need in one and it is absolutely perfect it's very pigmented I think it looks really pretty and especially for springtime right now as well it just is absolutely beautiful okay now eyeliner now what kind of girl does not dream of having the perfect winged liner on both eyes now the problem is with eyeliner it is so tricky especially liquid eyeliner is really tricky and if you don't practice you will never get it right congratulations for those that get it right the first time but that was not so with eyeliner I personally found that these charcoal or coal liners are so much easier to apply but the only problem that I got with these is that they would just slide off by the end of the day like they'll start melting off and that's probably because I used to do quite a lot of sports so I'd sweat and then it would just come off and I you're probably thinking why were you doing sports with makeup on but if I'm gonna wear makeup to school I'm not gonna take it off to do sports so I had it on and I wanted it to stay on so I really like this marker one so it just feels like you're just drawing a line on your eye because that's what it actually is and with a lot of practice you will literally thank yourself for it because you have the perfect wing liner that will last the whole day okay and we're almost finished and now it's time for mascara so for mascara I know a lot I was recommended a lot to try the great lash mascara because it is a really good starter mascara and I know some people are also against it because they think it's just cheap and rubbish but if you're just starting off it's just really good to define your lashes it makes your lashes visible but personally my lashes are actually all confused and they grow in the wrong direction some grow up some grow down and they just they just don't follow the rules of lashes uh, so basically I had to get one that had like this sort of brush shape where all the brushes are like together so they can comb my lashes in the right direction okay so and then once I put that on I go in with my great lash mascara just to define the la just to define my lashes and this one is in brown so it doesn't look like I've clumped up a lot of mascara on my eyelids okay and then finally we go into the blush and I really like this sleek brush in pomegranate and it is really nice brush it's a really pretty blush for spring and it's just this kind of like a dark pinkish one and I just apply that gently to my face just to give it a bit of color and I know with my skin tone it is physically impossible for me to blush well you wouldn't see it like if I was blushing you wouldn't see it so I guess it doesn't make sense for me to put a natural blush on my face anyway but I just like putting a bit of color on my face which makes it just look really pretty finally for the lips it's this what is this what is this it's this sleek pout polish I'm not sure if they still sell these but I got this one like three or four years ago and I still not finished it because I, I go through a phase of using it religiously and then I just stop and then I use something else religiously and then I come back to it so I've still got some in there but it's like 
little to nothing and this smells really nice it lasts a good three or four hours but it is so pretty it's a nice pink color it's very subtle on my lips but if you had like lighter lips obviously it will show on a bit more but with mine it's just really subtle and it's really pretty and I absolutely love it and I think that is it and once again I really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you do and if you're new here I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and then YouTube will let you know when I post new videos and I love you guys.